Okay, hello everyone. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Neil Godwin. Hello, Neil. Hello. For those of you that do know me, keep stum. <laughs> um, I'm a man of simple pleasures. I don't need lovely houses, beautiful girls, and classy restaurants, so it's a good job I moved to Slough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great to be in Slough, really it is. I've just spent a year in Beirut. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now, I know David is feeling a bit worried about taking on all these new staff because, as manager, it's going to mean a lot more responsibility. He'll now have to delegate twice as much work. <laughs> but, but there will be perks for him. I'm sure he's looking forward to having a whole new group of men underneath him. <laughs> anyway, here's the man at the top of the pile, David Brent. Thanks, right. You know what you were saying there? about me being at the top of the pile of men, like, saying I'm gay. Right, I'm not gay. In fact, I can honestly say, I've never come over a little queer. <laughs> that's some, that, that gets the real stuff, that's the real, that was just, it was putting me off. Welcome to Slough, to the, to the new people. Uh, my name's David Brent, and um, I've always been in the paper industry, haven't I, yeah. My um, parents owned a paper shop until it blew away. Paper. It's a better one, isn't that? Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not used to public squeaking. I piss pronunciate a lot of my worms. Do you know that's the two Ronnies? Do you know like that? That is classic stuff. Turn the phone off. That's part of it. If you're not concentrating, you're not going to enjoy it as much. Focus. Okay. Anyway, good to have you all here from Swindon, because I hear they dropped an atomic bomb on Swindon. About 15 quid's worth of damage. <laughs> right, okay. Let's, right. Oh, it's a good job Eric Hitchmo isn't here. Because you know what he'd say? I don't agree with that in the workplace, wouldn't he? Oh, imagine if uh, Eric was a Los Angeles detective. Be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, one final thing, my wife loved you, but I don't agree with that in the workplace. Well, look, what's that, Eric? You've given up being a Los Angeles detective and you've started running a hotel in Torquay? Yes! Don't mention the war. I mentioned it once, but I think I got away with it. I don't agree with that in the workplace. <laughs> I don't agree with that in the workplace. Do, do you not know who Eric Hitchmo is? Who's been to the Coventry Conference? Right. So, do you not know Eric Hitchmo? Well, yeah, but I didn't know he talked like that. He talks exactly like that. Don't you go? I prefer the stuff you do about his little hand. I don't do stuff about his little hand. Yeah, you do, the wanking claw. No. Don't. Has everyone heard of Harry Enfield? Has everyone heard of Harry Enfield? Yes. 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 Right. Then, OK. Then who's this? I do not believe you wanted to do that. Only me. Oh, come on! Try some, and that's... Oh. <clears throat> um, thank, thanks, David. Thank huh? You. Thanks. Whatever. Just... OK, there's, uh, there's plenty of wine and, and snacks uh, left through there, so if you, you want to help yourself to, to anything else, <laughs> come through. Thanks, David. Lunchtime gigs, they're the worst, aren't they? I don't think Neil had warmed you up, to be honest. Yeah. That's why it went over. He's not a professional comedian. So. He was funny, though. Yeah, but uh, often an amateur will stitch up a professional. But this is what I should have told you. Right? Royal family, yeah. Christmas Day. I had lunch. Sitting down, Camilla goes, let's play a game. Right? Let's play 20 questions. I think it's something, and you've got to guess what I'm thinking of. And what she's thinking of is a black man's cock. Right? So Charles goes, uh, is it bigger than the bread bin? She goes, yes. Huh? Philip goes, could I put it in my mouth? She goes, yes. So the Queen goes, is it a black... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, were you telling a joke? No, that was it. What did the Queen say? Didn't... Oh, come on. What was the joke? It's about the royal family playing 20 questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's not the black man's cock one, is it? You might be, but I don't... It's bad, isn't it? 
Oh, it's all right. It's funny. Harmless. Well done. Have you all met the uh, this little lady? This, this lady? Well, it's a shame this had to happen on Neil's first day, but well, I've just had a complaint from one of the new intake. What complaint? I can't believe that you think the way to welcome people is by telling racist jokes. Wrong. No way. But he'd heard it before, right? He thought it was funny, so I don't know why he's complaining now. He it was a woman. Thought I, I assumed it was the, the new guy. Whoever it was is wrong, because it, it isn't racist. What is it? So, what, the joke? Mm, the gist of it. It won't be funny now, will it? I don't it? care. Just... What's the content? Oh. Royal family sitting at home Christmas Day, and uh, Camilla goes, well, let's play a game. I think of something, and you have to guess what I'm thinking of. And what she's actually thinking of is a black man's cock. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Charles goes, um, is it bigger than the bread bin? Camilla goes, yep. So Philip goes, can I put it in my mouth? Camilla goes, yep. So the Queen goes, oh, is it a black man's cock? <laughs> <laughs> and he's heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the sort of... <laughs> yeah. I can see why someone would find that offensive. It's not racist, though, is it? I don't say anything bad about black people. It's about a black man's cock. Why is that racist? It just happens to be a black man's cock. You could equally... No, you're using the ethnic stereotype that all black men have large penises because you think that makes it funnier. It's not an insult, though, is it? It's a compliment, if anything. So, so what you're saying is that black people ought to be flattered that their only achievement in this world is having oversized genitalia? I'm saying they shouldn't be ashamed of them. It's a myth. I don't know, Jennifer. I could show you a magazine where, literally... Could you? Well, I haven't got it with me, but when are you next in? I could change it. I could just say big cock, not mention the colour. Well, you could, or you could save those jokes for your free time and not tell them in the workplace. It was his joke. He told me it. Yeah, whatever, David. Let's leave it there. You've heard my opinion on the matter now. Should we go back outside? Yeah. <clears throat> She's uh, right to be careful, cos uh, some of them can be a little bit sensitive, you know, so... Sorry, who, who can? Some... Some people can take things the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, as an actor said to a bishop. <laughs> and that's not a gay stereotype, the, the wrong way. I'm not saying that is the wrong way, I'm saying it's a way. And some women like it the wrong way, don't they? And they're straight. It doesn't matter if you're straight or gay, you know, a lot of people are. They're one in ten, apparently. That seems a bit high, doesn't it? But, you know, if you you might be gay, I mean, if you are, good luck to you, you know. Just, just make sure it's legal and be safe, OK? Under strengths, you've just put accounts. Yeah. That's your job, though. That's just... That's just... Mm. No, Keith. I was sort of looking for your skills within your job, so is there anything else you could have put there? No. OK. Um, under weaknesses, you've put eczema. You had a really fantastically welcoming buffet. <laughs> <laughs> the wine was mm. something else. Everyone's yeah. sort of quite friendly. Yeah, everyone's. And Tim, Tim seems nice. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it's a good laugh. I was just gonna. Um... Has he got a, a girlfriend or. Tim! <laughs> why? What's up with you? On the thing. Why, why? Would you? Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Out the equation. Yeah, I know, but I mean, if you weren't, would he be. <laughs> if I weren't. <laughs> Madness. Keith. Right, you've, you've, le you've left this section completely blank, Keith. You haven't done the QA. I thought that you filled that in. No, 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 no. This is aimed at you. Look, um, look. To what extent do you believe that you have the skills and knowledge to perform your job effectively? and then you just tick one of the boxes. Not at all, to some extent, very much so, don't know. What would you tick? Don't know. OK. Um, question two. Uh, do you feel you have received adequate training to use your computer effectively? What are your options? 
same as they're always the same, always the same. Not at all. To some extent, very much so. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know again. Okay. Do you feel you are given the flexibility to decide how best to accomplish your goals? Do you want the options again? Yeah. Not at all. To some extent, always the same. Very much so. Don't, don't know. know. If don't know wasn't there, what would you put? Well, the option. Not at all. To some extent, very much so. Very, don't know. Very much so. Do you remember what the question was? No. Okay. Do you? Let's. We're going to leave that there. So, so if, if you want a really good pie, the gardeners. It's, it's been a washout, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't know why I bother if uh, no one else is going to make the effort. You know, well, we have made the effort. Huh? We have made the effort. Yeah, I'm not having a go at you. It's just, just obviously the best people haven't turned up, and it's just I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot off back to the office. <sighs> See you there. You can laugh in the public lunch time. Oh. Selfish. <laughs> a bit dangerous, isn't it? In an office. If you wanna wanna work, maybe you should work. As it's quarter past two. Yeah, alright, we're just finishing off now. Yeah, we're just finishing off. Just wanna be popular as the new boss. Oh, love me. Pathetic. Um Well, I think we should uh, <laughs> call it a day there. Tim, do you mind putting those uh, away? Guys, can we get back to work? Um, please. Yeah, sorry. David, can I have a word, please? Do you want? Um, I'm confused. I don't know what just happened there, but obviously you've got a problem with something. What is it? No. Time for work, wasn't it? That's what you say. Let's work instead of mucking around right, in the you office. Right, see, your attitude confuses me. Oh, if you don't want to tell me what the problem is, then fine. But don't speak to me like that in front of staff, OK? Because you're acting like a petulant kid. Young at heart. If you've got a problem, come and speak to me. But don't stand out there and embarrass me and yourself, because I will not stand for it, OK? I've been trying to be nice. I've been trying to deal with the situation delicately, because I was mildly embarrassed that we were equivalents, and now I'm your boss. But that's the deal. Live with it. I don't let anyone talk to me the way you just did. Not my staff, not my boss, no one, and certainly not you. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Good. Look, you're a good bloke, Dave. And if there's a problem, I'd rather discuss it sensibly than have to have these little chats, all right? Good shake on it. Great, thank you. <coughs> I'll see you guys later. Okay, see All right, you. yeah. Take care. Cheers, Neil. Have a good night. Do you know? Hmm? Did you hear any of the conversation there? No. I just had it out with Neil. He showed his true colours, didn't he? What do you mean? He's, he's all right, he seems like a good bloke. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, best. Better not say anything then. Watch your back. I'm slagging you off. What? I'm slagging you off. Yeah. What, me personally? Yeah. yeah. What, just me? Yeah. And you. I'm slagging all you lot off. What's he saying? He's just going, oh, you, a lot of rubbish. Nah. I was going, oh, a lot of rubbish. You're swindling a lot of shit. And then he got, it got aggressive and I went berserk. Did you? <sighs> I had to do I need to come through that wall. Well, I don't know, he's pretty trim, mate. Yeah, against karate. So, yeah. and David, what did he actually say about us? Just slagging like, like you off. And I went, you're swindling not a little slugs. A little slugs with no personality and just jealous that we're better at everything than you. I'll I tell you what, on a serious note, if it did kick off doing anything, get out. I don't want you lot getting out, it's not worth it. Well, I'll just step in if you want. Let's be big boy shit, mate. Cheers. You that one. Hit him really hard above the ears, cause the vacuum in the brain kills him instantly. I wouldn't want him to die. I'd want to keep the little twat alive with the shit I was gonna put on him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 
Even I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Even I am you did? Does it work? One size fits all. Can I just... Sorry, can I just... Look at the face. Look at the face. Gareth, look at the face. I can't believe you're touching that. Why? Look at this. It's You don't know where that's been, mate? Well, I do know where it's It's been in a box, Gareth. I mean, at the factory. You don't know what goes on. The factory. You've got your amazing mind again. In my experience, women who work in factories are slappers. So, I don't know what's... Thank you, everybody, for my lovely present. They're malleable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that's what I like, really. I don't like people coming here with, uh, oh, we did it this way, we did it that way. I just want to go do it this way, if you like. If you don't. Team playing. Te oh, I call it team individuality. It's a new, it's like a management style. Again, guilty, unorthodox. Sue me. That is, yeah. But, you know, you, what, <coughs> you, nothing ever changes by staying team? the same. Quite literally. Hi guys. Hello. All right. You like that, don't you? What? Is that because it looks like yours? Yeah. It's identical. Sorry. Well, mine's not that size. It's very, very tiny, but it is made of plastic. Mine's massive, and it ain't made of plastic. <laughs> I dare to go and put it in Brent's office. <laughs> Why? It's a dare. Yeah, I know, but he's, he's having a meeting with Neil, I can't. Yeah, well, that's kind of a challenge, mate. Well, why would I do that? Because it would make me laugh. I'll do it. No, I'll do it, it's all right. Look, look, all you've got to do is just, you know, go in there and, and hide it in there somewhere, that's all. Just hide it? Yeah. Simple. Simple. It couldn't be easier. Straightforward. Come in. I'm sorry to interrupt. Hi. Um, just wondered if... That's embarrassing. I've completely forgotten what I came here for. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right. Um, it's gone. Come on. Come on, Tim. Oh. Get it back. No. Too late, nice. Oh! No, sorry, it's totally gone. Don't well, worry about it. I'm holding your folder. Sorry. It's fine. Um, I just... No, it's gone. BSC. Don't worry, come back. No Listen, more beef. Yes. <laughs> as, you're, as you're here, well, um, there's something you can do for me. My lot haven't even been down to the warehouse yet. OK. Um, it'd be... Would you mind taking them down? Just not sure. There's not a lot of point. There's not well, a lot to see. Well, you know, with one organisation, I think it'd be sure. quite a good idea for everyone to, to know everyone else. If you just tell Glyn I said it's OK. Well, I'll tell, right. tell, tell, tell Taffy that I said it was OK and that he agrees with me. OK. Confident to sort That's great, thanks. All right. Rex. Okay. Oh, sorry, that, that was, was brilliant. That that was really <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Did you see where it went? <laughs> went under the folder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to phone Dave. No, I'm going to write things for you to say. Can I come here? And then I'm going to phone David, and I want you to say exactly what I write down, okay? No way, you make me sound like a bender. No, look, I swear I won't. It'll I, just no be, way, no. It'll just be funny things, it'll come out cute now. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say anything Gareth. that makes me sound like a bender. Just... Hello. Hi, it's Gareth. Hiya. Uh, I'm in a meeting at the moment, Gareth. Yeah, um, just going to say a few things. Alright. You're doing a great job. OK. Just an employee saying what a superb job I'm doing. No. Is that it? No, no. I like your little beard. OK. Is that it? One, one more thing. What? Um, you should wear tighter trousers. Can I give you a call back? Yep, yeah, bye. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Genius. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> brilliant. We have a website with profiles of all our speakers on them. Would you mind answering a few questions? No, go for it. OK. If you could have a working lunch with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? Martin Luther King and the Dalai Lama and Rory Bremner. Just to... because they get a bit heavy, couldn't they? Two of them. And he'd lighten things up. Probably do impressions of them. And me. <laughs> What's your biggest disappointment? Alton Towers. Oh. I've never been. It's rubbish. Next.
Trying to do some work now, should be giving them a rest. Ooh, I've got some. Have <laughs> Yeah. What you got? Oh. God, I used to do low. What were they? <laughs> oh, but you know, we can. We can think of some. We could, th yeah, absolutely. We could some, some new ones. Yeah, okay. Let's think of some good ones. For who? For, mm, what about Gareth? Mm, it's about time he had some tricks <laughs> played on him, I think. What would your motto be? Well, I've noticed that some bosses are intimidated by training their staff up too well. They don't, I don't mind it. I actually like my staff to be better than me. That way, you know, it keeps me on my toes. So, my motto would be, be careful because there's always someone ready to step into your shoes and do your job better than you do it. Hey, hey. I'm gluing the phone. In the name of fun. He will hate you. Sorry, is this just a little uh, little birthday patch for Trudy? So, so birthday. Mm -hmm. Who organised this? Oh, I did. <laughs> Bit over the top, isn't it? How much that cost you? We're paying you too much. <laughs> oh, I made it myself. You made it yourself? Every year. Oh, a bit sweet, isn't it? Too rich. Mm. Really hard. Oh, you can't taste the lemon drizzle cake, even better. Oh, <laughs> I prefer a mm. flan. Going go karting again at the weekend with the lads. Oh, yeah. What, down super carts? Yep. You any good? Okay, first last time I went, 8 minutes 51, got a certificate. Yeah, well, I went down there the first day it opened, right? And I did a couple of laps, I pulled over. The bloke that runs the thing came over and said, Oi, no professionals. I took my helmet off, I said, I'm not a professional. He said, you're not a professional? I said, no. He said, well, you should be. If I was you, I'd take up Formula One. And if you drive like that, you'd probably be the best in the country. So I'm not interested in making shitloads out of computers. You ever had a go at Speedway? Have you? Yep. Right, well, I was doing it once, and um, I was bombing it round. And some idiot had left like a, a ramp thing out. Lift her bugs. I could see the people were going, oh my god, if that guy hits that ramp going at that speed, he's definitely dead. I hit the ramp, I took off in the air, I turned over in the air, and they were going, well, he's definitely dead now. I landed on my wheels, pulled over, and said, what were you worried about? Uh, about five. Five. Yeah. And so who was this chat with again? Yeah. What's this in? The mother's meeting. So Dawn tells me you're shutting down reception at five. Wow, just half hour early today. No, you just think you can run okay without her? Well, yeah. Phones are going to they can answer their own phone, they do their own post tonight. Just well, that's once. good, so we can probably lose her all together then, can we? What do you mean? Well, if you don't need a receptionist, we may as well let her go. You know, she, either she's needed or she's not. We do need a receptionist. Well, my point is, David, you haven't put a, a system in place, you know? For your own needs, you've told Dawn to shut down reception at five. You haven't told these people they can pick up the phone if it rings. Well, I mean, does know Dawn know that they can do their own post? Dawn, they can do their own post tonight. Yeah, there's no, so. yeah, no use telling her now. Wow. Well, he says there's no system in place. You're not thinking things through. I'm tired of this fuzzy thinking, David. All right, chill out. Don't have a cow, mate. Don't talk to me like you've forgotten who's in charge. Let me remind you, I'm your boss, OK? Yeah. Just, just try and think things through. That was your fault again. Took the rap for you, didn't I? Yeah. Once, right, when Bruce Lee was filming, one of the extras just came over and just started a fight. Oh, yeah, I know this, and he was amazing at Kung Fu, but Bruce Lee just did a roundhouse on him. Well, no, he smashed him through a wall. And instead of firing him, he just said, go back to where you were, let's get on with the filmer. Man, those cats were as fast as lightning. You know when he's fighting Chuck Norris in Enter the Dragon? No. Have you not seen that? No. Have you not? I can't... That is a classic. No, I've not seen him fight Chuck Norris in Enter the Dragon. I've seen him fight Chuck Norris in Way of the Dragon. Uh, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Is it? Yeah. Why did you say you'd seen him fight Chuck Norris in Enter the Dragon? He so fights Bob Wall in both, but Norris is only in Way of the Dragon. Yeah, I know. So when he's fighting Chuck Norris... In what? In Way of the Dragon. Correct. At last. Um, 
You know Bruce Lee's not really dead, don't you? Yes, in a book. What he did was he faked his own death so that he could work undercover for the Hong Kong police, infiltrating drugs gangs in the triads. Yeah, I reckon that's true. Yeah, I reckon that's true, because if you were going to send someone undercover to investigate the triads, you'd probably want the world's most famous Chinese film star. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, gone off dawn now, have you? What? Said, what? What are you talking about? Just shut up. Shut up. Thank you very much. It's quite a bit in there. You can add that to yours if you like. All right. Cheers. Yeah. I've already raised more than that in a way. But cheers. <laughs> anyway, three hundred quid we did last time. So, oh, right. uh, and if you wanted dancing, you should have come to me. Couldn't you, if you want. I know you'd rehearse that as a plan. Well, I did dance big time. More modern stuff than that as well. Yeah. I sort of fused flash dance with MC Hammer shit. All right, then, mate. Well, uh, let's, you know, show us your moves. Nah, there's no beat, oh, is there? Oh, go on. You can't you on, have music and everything. Well, let's, let's, uh, well, as it's for charity, just a little bit. Give a donation for that, do we? Well, don't say it like that. All the money collected is for both dances, for both excellent dances. In there, well, you know, if there is a difference, mine was impromptu. So, but I don't think you should get extra points for that necessarily. Make your own minds up. Leave me out of it. I'm collecting for charity, right? So, uh. You've seen me entertain and raise money, but maybe I'd like to do that in the future for a living, you know? Use my humour and my profile to both help and amuse people, you know? And if it's ideas for TV shows, you know, game shows or whatever you want, I'm your man, you know? I'm already exploring the entertainment avenue with my management training, but, you know, I'd like to do that on a global scale, really. And that's not going, oh, look at me today, I'm entertaining whilst saving lives, aren't I brilliant? It's going, if you think I'm brilliant, then give generously and help save these guys who are starving, but are also brilliant, not as entertainers. A lot of them can't even speak English, but, you know, don't give them their own game show, but um, save them from dying at least, and then maybe they could, you know, do something in their own country on television or whatever they have, the wireless or, I don't know, some of them, give them, give them a job on the World Service or something. Excuse me, David. Um, yes. Can can we have a, another quick word? Not now, no. I'm literally running downstairs this minute. What for? It, um, the Gazette are coming in to take my picture. So uh, I'm going to be in the paper. Well, Wernham Hogg are going to be in the paper. Free advertising, so that's not why I'm doing it. This shouldn't take long. OK. Um, <clears throat> sorry to spring this on you now. Um, we've been discussing something that you said earlier, and it's, it's certainly something we've been thinking about as well. Um, we'd like to offer you a very generous redundancy package. Are you offering me it, or are you telling me I've got to take it? Um, we're telling you you've got to take it. We will put in a proper meeting tomorrow. It's good timing, isn't it? Telling me that today, the day of laughter. Brilliant. That's that ruined, isn't it? That's what I was... Never. 
So now I've got to try and go down there and be funny. That's going to be good, isn't it? With that going through. I knew you were up to something, planning summer. Jennifer, do you agree with this? Because we can... I'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I've got other irons in the fire, so this is the best thing that's ever happened to me, to be honest. But I'm going to love to see you telling that lot out there, because you are going to have a mutiny on your hands. They will go berserk, definitely. If that's it, can you leave now, please? Go on. I've got stuff to do. I've got, I've got laughter. To, I've got money to raise, mouths to feed. It's your time. Yeah. If you're wondering what that meeting was just about in there, that's it. I've been made redundant. Yeah. After it was me who saved others from redundancy, and then it's back. Good die young. But, um, oh, I, I said you lot are go mental. And now I've got to go and give laughter. But... See ya. Huh? OK. Do you just want to make it peck? Wow. Uh, yeah. Just run around a bit. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Here we are. The madhouse. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. All right, Tim. Yeah, all right. What, her? She's just writing an article on me for inside paper. Ben, are you wondering? Ben, are you wondering who that is? It's, well, I'll tell you all. If you're wondering who this stranger is, wandering round, she's writing an article on me for inside paper. Where have you been? Where else? Well, you've missed me telling everyone. She's writing an article on me. For in subject matter. Right. What do you want to know? Uh, do you mind if I talk to some of your staff later? Why? Well, my train doesn't leave till 1.30, so I'll hang about if that's OK and have a chat with someone. Well, I want to see what they say for... I'm not going to put anything nasty in. Well, they won't say anything nasty, so... OK. Right, so would you like to tell me about your individual outlook on management? Sure. Um, put, David Brent is refreshingly laid back for a man with such responsibility. Yeah, can you, it, can you just answer in your own words uh, and I'll, I'll work it up later. Yeah. Um, Brent mused and then replied... Sorry, no, David. Go on. Do you just say what's uh, on your mind yeah. and I'm getting it down? Well, so. are you getting it down? Because you're not doing shorthand and I'm going to be pretty... Just... Well, OK, your question, I suppose, was, is it difficult to remain authoritative mm. and yet so popular? Well, no, that wasn't well, it's, my question. Well, uh, well, shall I answer that one first? Sorry, no, we'll... can we just stick to my questions? Well, maybe it... should be clear what the question is, cos I'm getting a little bit... And that's, you know... OK. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what... He's on the it's knock. Just offensive. What's so, what's so funny? <laughs> nothing, nothing's funny. I was just um I was I was talking to um Emma about what what is that um that pub we went to on Friday? 
Oh, good job. There's fun. Keenan. Hello. Hi, baby. It's Anne. All right. Are you coming around tonight? Uh, can't. Going up uh, chases with the lads. Oh, we'll come around first. We'll have a bit of time together. All right. Have some fun. Yep. Okay. Are you um going to bring the toys again? Um. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Look forward to doing it to you too. All right. Bye. The toys. Shut up. What are the toys? Is it Buckaroo? It's not Boggle, is it? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> If it's Kaplan, I'm coming out. <laughs> it was actually a private phone call, so... Well, don't put it on speakerphone then, Gareth. Yeah, the Jolly Farmer is off the... Is it Hungry Hippo? <laughs> <laughs> private life, then, just to flesh out David Brent, the man. Is there a better hell? David quipped, why buy a book when you can join the library? So you play the field? Well, I'm not going around like using chicks and shit, but I'm just, you know, chilling out while I'm young, I suppose. So. And is there a chick in tow at the moment? Oh, I don't kiss and tell. I'm just trying to find out if you're in a relationship at the moment. Oh, well, Brent says no comment. Right, so you don't have a girlfriend. Wow. Well, you know, what is a girlfriend? Yeah. And there's someone you'd have sex with? Oh, I don't get coarse in a magazine for the public. I don't think you win a Pulitzer for filth. All right, David? Yep, fine. You? Yep. Good. Small talk done. OK, Go right. on. thanks very much. Um, everyone really appreciates what you've done. Yeah. OK, down to business. Um, that's what we've come up with as a redundancy offer. Yep. More than I expected. We've been quite generous. Bada bing. Now, um, you can leave on the 3rd with your holiday, I understand, which is a Tuesday. Now, we wondered if you wanted to come back for a party on the Friday or leave on the Friday before. Whatever. OK, well, again, thanks very much, David. Don't make me redundant. Please. Look, David. I don't... I've changed my mind. I don't want redundancy. I don't want that. I haven't signed anything, so... Well, David, unfortunately, it's not really up to you. No, OK, then. Sorry. All right, then. Well, I'm asking. OK? Please don't make me redundant. You can... You can talk to someone, Jenny. The wheel's are already in motion. No, we'll stop them, because... David, we're not going to discuss this now. No, but just anyway. say that it's de not definite now, before you go. And we can... I will try twice as hard. I really will. I know I've been complacent and I'll, I'll turn this place around if we just say that, that it's not definite now. And then we can... Um, and you're not going until... If you're starting from now. Starting from now. Life is just a series of peaks and troughs. Yeah. And you don't know whether you're in a trough until you're climbing out or on a peak until you're coming down. And that's it, you know, you never know what's around the corner. Uh, but it's all good, you know. Um, you know. If you want the rainbow, you've got to put up with the rain. Do you know which philosopher said that? Dolly Parton. And people say she's just a big pair of tits. 